prophet, tell me what does Satan look like? Eh? Okay, does he have horns or what? what? The, the people they miscalculate how the devil looks like because they see him on the movies or anything. The devil does not have horns. The devil does not. He's not all that black. But does, so does he look like that? Uh, not not uh, really like that. But but you know, because I, I find Nati squirrel uh, quite satanic, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to the week with me, Comrade Faso. I mean, I come back and all of a sudden ice creams are poisonous, extension cords are weapons, and Mugabe University is a thing. But comrades, why do you make my life so easy? You, you give me all this material in, in one week. But firstly, about ice creams and extension cables. At the recent Gwanda Youth Interface Rally, Vice President Emerson Nangagwa was allegedly poisoned, supposedly by an ice cream. Some said it was the Lacoste intolerant G40 going against lactose intolerant Lacoste. Not to be outdone, a few days later, First Lady Grace Mugabe grabbed headlines by using a plug and an extension cable to beat a model in South Africa she thought was sleeping with her two sons. Well done. We'll keep talking and you keep rolling. It also shows what a shrunken economy has done to us because we can't even afford proper weapons. This is how low we have sunk. In spy thrillers like James Bond, they would use exploding pens and booby trap briefcases, but no, in Zimbabwe, our weapon of choice is a nutty squirrel or a bigger bear or a, an extension cable if there's Zesa. I guess it shows one thing, that comrades have now updated their assassination techniques from the old school car crashes to much more modern day dairy methods. Welcome to Zimbabwe, where ice cream men are assassins and hardware stores stock weapons of mass destruction. I never really trusted those lions made guys though. I mean, they looked too much like the opposition. Eh, do you the price? Eh, this is my investigation. Eh, Mune Mombe? Mombe nuts. How many? Ten. Dairy? Eh, to come. Zonita cheese? Eh. Yogurt? Eh. Lecto? Lecto iribu. Butter? Yeah, butter iribu. Ko ice cream? Eh, eh ice cream to Godzilla. <laughs> Terrorist. We are in school. We are in school. Are you? Yeah. We are teams. Teams. Yeah, we are, we are. We are. Yeah. I've always said that these politicians are cone artists and they do this shit on a daily basis. Hashtag lolliest. And now, how to lick ice creams patriotically for any chefs who might be watching this. But on the real, we're now watching a boring, repetitive soap opera where two factions in the place of ideas are using violence. We hope that the vice president recovers soon because death and violence should never be visited on any political opponent ever. So can the real heroes please stand up? Because we need new heroes and new ideas to take our country beyond talking about assassination plots, dairy and electrical equipment. In other news, there's a new printing press set to be created for a billion dollars for all your future degrees and PhDs. Who needs UZ when you can just walk down to Mazoe there? Opposition parties came together to form the MDC Alliance, as Tembai Biti had hinted to us in an earlier interview. Now, that's a step forward. But then the Blayo leaders of the MDCT, including Toko Kupe, are beaten by MDC youthies, and Morgan comes out in a press conference and blames ZANU-PF. No, 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 comrade. You can't blame them for everything, Dara, eh? Own up and own your shit. What do you call a house with no furniture? Harvest house. If you want to make your voice heard in the upcoming 2018 elections, then sign up to the Youth Pledge by the Election Resource Center and promise that you will register to vote when registration starts. Hashtag, I pledge to register. Thanks for joining us on The Week. Follow Magama TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. This has been The Week. You have been the people. Thank you. And foot sack. Ooh.